Okay, so welcome back to Simple Rockets 2. And if you didn't see the last video, that was my 400 subscribers special. It didn't go as the way I, I wanted it to go. Um, the drone footage, I kind of didn't expect it to go so fast. And it ended up flying straight out of shot and the drone was not able to track it. But anyway, if we do get to 500, I'm going to improve that. I'm going to make a massive... Falcon 9 rocket hopefully and attach quite a few engines and hope it doesn't just explode on the pad but if it does it'll be fun so do subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and today we are going to fly this to the Mars equivalent if you remember we left this last time where it was just floating here with loads of fuel didn't want to go on the moon because that's far too close, isn't it? Or should we take it to the moon and land it on the moon? Or should we risk it? Um, no, we're going to fly it to the Mars. Okay, so what we're going to do, what I've decided to do, is to just go prograde, okay, till we get a good, oops, wrong side of the planet. Okay, so what we're going to do is go here, burn here, and then once we're out of the influence of earth we're just gonna time warp until we come across an encounter or close to an encounter and then we'll sort that out so we're gonna lock that in we're gonna time warp and auto burn let's put this on this camera there we go jesus that was loud so here we go see if this works oh am i gonna decay my orbit No, I'm not going to. I should be fine. So we need 1,500 1, now. Yeah, we should just have enough delta V in this stage to get out of the influence of Earth. And then the next stage will be onto Mars. And then the next stage will be coming home again. Hopefully. That is how I intend this mission to go. But as you know with this channel, if you're a subscriber... Nothing ever goes as planned in these missions, but it is a beautiful game and we enjoy it nonetheless. Well, I enjoy it. I don't know about you. I don't know if you enjoy the rubbish attempts, but um, yeah. These planned missions never go... Planned? This is not a planned mission. These unplanned missions never go right. And that's what I like about them. That's why I record them like that, because the planned missions are just too simple. Everyone does a mission that goes right. I mean, what better than a mission that goes wrong now and again? I think so, anyway. I think that's great. <laughs> um, where's the orbit? Where's the orbit line? Where is the orbit? Is that it? I didn't it didn't seem to come up there did it it didn't seem to appear but anyway we are going pretty damn fast and we've got 31 per 31 meters per second left in this stage we're going to give ourselves a little bit more of a boost here by going like that and now that is just going to fly around the sun yeah I don't think that'll ever decay. No, it won't. So, right, what we're going to do now is, come on, time warp. Hang on. I don't want this to lock because I don't want it to use power. Okay. Come on. 
Here we go. Round we go. Yeah, it's not using power, so that is perfectly fine. We're just going to go around because I don't really know the phase angle for this, so we're just guessing it by just using time warp, which is a hell of a lot easier. So we're actually catching up on Mars, it appears. Oh, that is pretty damn close. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, that is an in a close encounter now. So with minor... Oh, that is quite a lot of Delta V, actually. If I stretch it out. Oh, that is a lot less delta V. Will that lead to... I'm going to have to change this. Gives more sensitivity. Will that change... to a good encounter? Yes. That's the one. Right. So we want that, and we want an auto burn there. Wait, was that it done? Oh no. There we go. Burning away. We're only going to be doing a fly pass, I think. And then if this works well, We'll build a little lander to go along with this if we've got plenty of fuel spare, you know. So here we go, keep going. Oh, hang on. Turn that off. How much? Ah, yeah, I've, got, I've got enough electric. That's fine. So here we go. Coming in. Coming in, coming in. I don't know how close... We will be. Does it not show me? Um, no, it doesn't really show us. Ah, oh, there. Fifty-seven kilometers. That's <laughs> that is pretty good. Fifty-seven thousand. Should I put? Should I see actually? Yeah, I don't know why I said just 57 there. <laughs> okay, so that is actually pretty far away. So we're going to put a manoeuvre. Is this doing anything? That did nothing. What is happening here? Um, um, I don't know what is going on with this. really don't know what is going on with this. Let's turn that up a little bit more. No. No. That's not what I want to do. I have no idea what is going on with this manoeuvre. Right, what we're going to do is just... It's just going to... We're just going to warp a little bit. See what happens. Sure, we're going to hit it, right? Yeah, we have. We have hit it. So, we're going to bring this that way. Yeah, we're... 
Is that going to waste fuel burning? Yeah, it is. So what we want to do, take that back down. want to just head that way. Hopefully, how much Delta V have we got? Ooh, it's cutting it close. What's the... Ooh, that's an impact. Let's take this right down and then get it as close as we can. So, go with 50. Yep, let's go with that. Where is it? There it is. Over there. Okay, let's hope this actually makes it. <laughs> I think it should. It's got plenty of fuel in the next stage as well. So, yeah, no reason why it shouldn't. Hopefully. Should we just land this here? I don't know. No, I don't think we have enough... Um, don't think we have enough... We'll definitely not make it back if we try and land it. Definitely not make it back if we land it. Um, just debating whether we'll just leave it here and then come and get a rescue. Make a rescue shipment. It's not. It's not Kerbal Space Program, though, is it? It's not as easy as that. <laughs> Ooh. What is that? Oh, 14 kilometers. We're going to come in hot there. Should we just land it here? Should we try and land it? I don't know. Can it land on the engines? Have to be so soft, wouldn't it? I think we've got to turn around and fire up a little bit. Oh. Oh, so yes, there's so much. That's not even on. Twenty... Forty. Should go with forty. And it's going back down again. No, it's going back up. Honestly... The mechanics in this game are a little wonky sometimes. <laughs> Should we skim inside? Yes. Let's save it and skim inside the atmosphere. See what see what happens. Gives you worst game. We've done a quick save so everything will be fine. Hopefully. I say hopefully with caution. <laughs> Oh, I would really love to land here, though. <laughs> yeah, you can really tell I, I, I wing these missions. I really just to uh, um, see how they go now. <laughs> I plan some of them. Some of them are just random chance. Let's just see what happens kind of thing. Oh, it is beautiful, though. Look at that. I forgot how you hide the UI. Totally forgot how to hide the UI. But never mind. Here we go. Should we land? Oh, I really want to land. But I want to make it back also. Yeah, I think we'll make it back this time. We are going to make a lander for Mars. I think probably is the next mission, the next episode. But look at that. That is just beautiful. Hang on, let's... Let's take a photo of that. Like that. 
glorious. Right, so we want to actually make a manoeuvre. Actually, shall we wait till we're out of... Oh, we're not in any atmosphere. I don't think we are. Right, well, we we will... No, I'll just do the manoeuvre now. Okay, so... What we want is... No, we don't want to target the craft, thank you. Look at the spread on them now. Lit the whole planet with them asteroids. Uh, asteroids? Satellites? Not asteroids. <laughs> okay, so this manoeuvre... We need to be... Straightening out a bit. Oh no, that way. No. That way. Oh, um, sensitivity is so low. Right, we need to straighten it out. Is that flat? That's pretty much flat. And then... We're going to have it like that. How much is that? 600. Actually, we'll take that down a little bit. Right, like that. Is that intercepting with the line? Yes. That should be fine. So we'll warp to and make that manoeuvre. Bye Mars. It's been nice. We will be back. We will definitely be back. Ooh, I've just nearly messed things up then. Goodbye Mars. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Actually burning towards Mars, is that? Yeah, suppose it is right. Okay, so let's burn with 1% left by Mars. 1% fuel left in this stage. So what we are going to do is... First of all, we're going to turn that off because it's wasting fuel. Um, battery power, sorry. And we're going to ditch this stage. We'll start the engine just for when we need it. Okay, so let's start the warping. Ooh, that is already so close. Okay, let's see what we can do here. We'll just stop time warp. Oh my god, what happened there? Okay. Random. Stop that, just so and tweak. Ooh. Tweak a little bit. Right, we're going to have to turn the sensitivity down a lot. Tweak, tweak, tweak. That's 200. There we go. Look at that. Yep, I'm happy with that, so we're going to burn that in. Hey, that was pretty easy. What an easy mission to do. <laughs> Landing there and coming back is going to be another task. Definitely another task. Let's turn that off. Warp all the way around till we get an intercept. I mean, let's see how close we are first when we get there. How close will we be? Ooh, pretty far away. It's going to save fuel doing these burns now. Oh, no, it's not. Oh. How much fuel is left? 
if we can get down to a crash. Oh, that. Now that is looking promising. Okay, we'll go with that. Because that looks pretty good. There we are, we can see it home again. I don't know what happened there, my microphone recording just went totally wonky, but it's fine, it's fixed. Okay, so let's time warp to the point where we intersect, oh Jesus, that went a bit too fast, that went really, really fast, okay, so we want to, no, we don't want to do that. We want to go like that and get it down. Do we want impact? No, we don't really want to impact straight away because we're going to be coming in too steep then. So we'll get it down to see it 29, 25. Quick save, lock that in, burn. Here we go. There we go. Oh, it's gonna crash. Okay, RCS. All right, we'll not, we'll not do that. Are we just gonna crash? No, we don't want to. <laughs> All right, that, no, it didn't work. I thought it did work. Okay, that's just 11, 14, 23. That'll do. Retrograde. Hopefully, this will be enough. Come on, let's warp. Warp. I'm just going to use the last of the fuel to quickly burn off any excess speed. So it's not wasted, really. How fast is that dipping? Is it starting to dip yet? Okay, we're gonna max speed it. But we want to burn up a little. Alright, that'll do. Actually, there we go. Like that. Here we go. Hopefully we're gonna survive. <laughs> Hopefully. We'll kick RCS on just in case. And hopefully we're not going to skip off. If we skip off, that is really bad. We should not skip off. Not with how low we're getting. But we are coming in incredibly hot. Incredibly hot. Look at the steep angle on that. Ooh, look at the temperature rising so fast. Ooh, this is going to be bad. I can see it. I can see it's going to be bad. It 
Is it though? Oh, the temperature's going down. We're actually going to do it. That is amazing. Don't open your parachute with this height, remember? You did that last time. <laughs> wow, I can't believe we actually survived that. I didn't think this mission would be an absolute success. But obviously... Obviously it was. So that is amazing. We're coming down over the sea as well. Perfect. In the day. Could this have gone any better? Oh, we're running out of battery. We've run out of battery. Oh, do see that and open the parachute. <sighs> have I just jinxed myself? I really hope I can open this battery. Eh, uh, battery? Parachute. Twelve thousand meters. We'll get a bit lower. Ten thousand meters. Wait till we get to five and then see if it opens. Well try not Ah, there we go. It opened. Whew. I really thought we'd screwed it there. Two times acceleration. Oh, oh. Okay, I didn't know that was a thing. Did not know that camera angle was a thing. You could do that with it. Hey, oh. Look at this. It's been to the moon. To the moon. It's been to Mars and back. And it is now going to plonk into the sea. So yeah, if you did like this video and you'd like to see more, subscribe. And if you liked it, leave a thumbs up. See you in the next one.